So the alpha edition of Starlight River is finally here, and if you've never seen this mod before, it's like witnessing the next generation of Terraria modding. As of right now, it's only pre-hard mode, so I decided to play the entire mod in a single day. And here's my reaction to all the new content, the biomes, the bosses, so enjoy. Today is a very special day. The alpha edition of Starlight River is finally here, and I have not been this excited about a mod in a very long time. So let's jump into it. We're playing in expert mode because if you try boot up a world in master mode, it gives you a big warning like, please do not play master mode. You might actually rip out your hair and we can't be blamed for ripping out hair. It feels like it's been a long year since we checked out that uh, beta preview. This is, this is gonna be so fun. So this is our first look at the mod actually blended with vanilla Terraria, because of course when we last saw it, it was on a map that was pre-generated, that had a structure that was pre-generated, so that you could check out a boss. We've never seen how the mod is actually going to blend with normal gameplay. So that's what we're checking out. Oh gosh, you're going to get a very excited version of me today. And uh, well, to be honest, I'm not actually going to apologize, because it's nice to feel this hyped. This all takes place in pre-hard mode, because, you know, it's early days, they're testing the mod, I think, uh, you know, you don't need to go the whole way. Not for the very start. So we're just going to play it like normal Terraria. There are a couple of boss fights I've heard. I don't know what they are or how to get them. So that's going to be a fun little mystery. New item, uh, Shining Brick Layers Mallet. Doubles block placement and tool range. Decreases mining speed by 50% for blocks outside of your original range. Also gives you Starlight Regeneration. Uh, do we give this a go? I, uh, it's not something I'm that interested in. And then why am I mining this? Listen, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom recently, so if I'm rusty today, blame Zelda. <laughs> Do not blame me. One of the perks of going into this completely blind is that to discover the bosses, we're actually going to need to really explore the world. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. You know, it's been a while since I've gone blind into a mod. Obviously, these big mods like Calamity, Inforium, and such and such... Well, I played those about six or seven years ago. It's been a very long time for me since I played a mod quite like this. So this is a big event for me. Um, ooh, Finch Staff, not bad. Ah, okay. So we found a, a new structure right at the bottom of this uh, living tree. Now, normally at the bottom of a living tree, it's quite, quite boring, a little bit underwhelming. I feel like the world gen lets it down a little bit. So... This is a neat little surprise. And let's see what's inside of here. First off, aesthetics. I love it. It's a nice little structure. Okay. I can hear a worm and I don't want to die just yet. I want to I want to enjoy what I've got. Okay, I'm going to throw down a grenade. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. This is good. Right. Let's 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 head inside. But yeah, aesthetics, very nice. So what's in here then? A barrel and a chest. This looks valuable. You get Point of light, 11 melee damage. Hold left click to charge a powerful spear. Fires a laser when fully charged. And then you can pick two of these. So which ones do we go with? Forest ivy seeds can grow in hanging planters. Or spelunker glow. Wait, I tell you what. No, no, no. I'm not I'm not mad interested in this. I know that I know that this is modded. I'm gonna go these two, and I'll take my weapon. So let's have a little look at the charge for this then. Oh, okay. So you can just uh, slam it out, but if you get the little click, there you go, fully charged. Boy, that is, that's really neat. I'm seriously committed to uh, to playing this in one session. So, you know, to be honest, it might get to the point where I've just got to hook up like an IV bank, you know, drip feed me food, uh, drip feed me liquids. Because I'm not leaving this chair if, until this is done. I'm not ruining my, my Starlight River experience. So like I said, I played about uh, 10 minutes earlier and the first thing I did was I chopped down one of these trees. Now I wanna bring this up now because a lot of you will be like, hey, can you just, can you chop down a tree? I wanna see, is there a special item? Uh, apparently not. Uh, you just chop them down and they disappear. And it looks, <laughs> it looks honestly a little sad because they look so good. So, you know, I just wanted to explain it now. In case your curiosity is like, chop it down. Don't let the tree survive. Ooh, okay. Uh, so there's bushes. Let's see. Forest berries. Okay. Restores 20 life. Uh, consumable. 
material. All right, let's find out what it makes. So it makes forest tonic. Uh, provides regeneration and immunity to poison with a 30 second duration. Cool. All right. Uh, I don't need that now. And then what are these? <laughs> what is that? What are they? Slime berries. <laughs> what was that about? Also, these grow back pretty quick. That's a good little a little source of food there right at the start. Now look at this. Look at these grand structures. What are these about? I wonder if this is going to become some form of a, a boss arena. Now my curiosity wants to know. This one looks pretty tall. Is there going to be something? No, okay. I wanted to see if there was going to be something at the top. Because it seemed like the kind of thing a mod would do. One of the things I really like about this weapon is uh, you seem to be able to just move with normal speeds, like as it's charging. That's quite nice. And, and that's even better. Look at that. So now we've got something for the short term and for the long term. Gosh, these are quite these are quite rare as well. Like, I feel like I feel like this might even be a better weapon. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna keep pushing on. So we, we've got crimson on both sides, uh, and we don't seem to have like any natural caves. But I feel like if I can just make it past the crimson on either side, we'll probably we'll probably find something. Healthy old whetstone. Uh, equipable. Plus one to all damage. Why in tarnation are you sharpening your wand? These little quotes. I'm always I'm always so uh, like curious and always like a little bit out of the loop. Like, what is this referencing? Intrepid acorn sprout. Killing summoned tagged enemies. Summons acorns to fall on nearby enemies. Okay, so I'm assuming this is some kind of a summoner accessory that's gonna like uh, pair with something else. I guess that's what it is. Like, oh, if you if you kill an enemy and like you've whipped them and they're tagged, you get a buff maybe. Reinforced Dusty Amulet, uh, plus 20 max life, plus 20 maximum mana, 0.8 times critical strike chance, an old heirloom with an inscription lost to time. So, it seems like this thing has the, like, the added bonus of a plus 16 barrier. Now, I did read that there was a bug with, uh, with barriers, so you have to play on, like, a certain zoom level to get barriers to work. I, th I think that's the case, right? Now, I'm not going to change it to the correct zoom level, mainly because uh, we're filming this video. And uh, and I don't want to zoom out a million miles that you can't see. I'll try it on, and we'll see if, if it breaks, or if anything happens. But we now have a barrier. I don't know what a barrier is. I assume it's... Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that's the, that's the breakage. Is it worth having this around? Probably. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look too bad. If it gets really distracting, I'll uh, I'll take the accessory off. But yeah, that's the that's the bug at the moment. What what is this? What do I do with this? Um, can I mine it? No. Interesting. Wait, actually, do you know what? I remember in the beta there was certain things where you had to like uh, charge through it. You could do like a double dash maneuver, something like that. Now, I wonder, are we going to unlock that ability at a certain point? Or is that actually built into the mod? Because I don't know. Star, star Sight, Forbidden Winds, Fey Flame. Uh, let me... <laughs> I don't know what to put this one on. Let me do this one to that. Can I do anything with these? No. Okay, so I'm wondering then if there's an accessory or an ability that we get later. So, <laughs> this, is my, this is my theory, all right? We're going to find out in a couple of hours if I'm just, like, dead off wrong. But maybe you need, like, a mallet <laughs> to, to break the glass. Yes, because a pickaxe is not strong enough. You shall use the mallet. Uh, we do not have a mallet. There is a chest up here, though, so I do want to I do want to grab that. I've returned back to the surface. I've sorted out my inventory. Because I feel like I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm just leaving stuff behind. And I feel like once you get to that point in Terraria, it's almost like you're just doing things wrong. The, look, there's, there's going to be glitches as we explore this uh, mod together, right? Don't worry about it. Try try put it to the back of your mind. So I think what we'll do then is we're going to head right this time. And I'm going to go past the crimson and see if I can find either a natural cave system or alternatively maybe the ice biome. Because I often overlook the ice biome and I want to make sure I'm hitting up every biome 
so that I don't miss any like cool structures that might be down there. So we have indeed stumbled across the uh, the ice biome, and it looks like, I mean, fingers crossed here, this looks like a natural cave entrance. This is uh, apparently in this world, Jen, a rare occurrence, uh, a thing to be celebrated. Oh yes, okay, I shall take that. That background flickering, what does that mean? So what is... Okay, all right. It was a frozen Aurora chunk. <laughs> okay, right. So what does this do? Am I safe right now? Because I want to look at some recipes. I think I'm safe. I I'll be all right. Okay. So what does this do then? Let's dump this in here. Uh, so it makes frozen Aurora bars at a furnace... So it's three per one, and it makes the Book of Frost. It's a book, it's ice block, and five of these. So I need 15, so I've already got that. Hallelujah. It also makes the Frost Ball. Uh, strike enemies to build your Aurora power. Heals players near the yo-yo based on Aurora power. Gives you regeneration when retrieved based on Aurora power. So it looks like down here, uh, we stumbled across something new. It seems to be like moving with the character though. So I think it might be a bit of a glitch. I think it's something to do with this. So we've already got one of these. I, I can't imagine this one's any more special. But I wonder what it is. I remember they did show off some weird water that you could pass through. Something like that. This was a, a spoiler a long time ago. I cannot remember the context. And it might have something to do with that. I don't know. But based on the fact that it's moving with the player, I think this is like a visual glitch. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So it is that weird water. Can I make it move with me? No. So it always stays kind of like, uh, I guess, parallel to the character. I, I, it's been, I've been out of school a while. All right, I don't know the correct terminology here. Oh, okay. Suspicious looking offering. Drop in prismatic waters to summon the one, the Squidities worship. Ah, yes. Of course, the Squidities. Cool. So I'm guessing that is our first uh, boss summon. I don't know, like, <laughs> I mean, and this is once again the perk of going in blind. I don't know when you're meant to do this boss. Is it post Eye of Cthulhu? Is it post Wall of Flesh? No idea, but we are going to find out. Oh my gosh, it's a snooball. <laughs> I remember these. So obviously, like, over the past year, I've, I've tried to cover uh, Starlight River News whenever possible, right? They they sh they shared spoilers every once in a while. And I remember the snooball got a lot of love. Ooh, okay. So uh, the merchant sells some new items. Uh, armor bag. Stores armor for quick use. Um, Right-click to equip stored armor right click with armor to add it to the back that's kind of cool like i don't fully know the purpose especially now that we have um you know different loadouts and whatnot but i could i could see the appeal i guess maybe maybe for like carrying around different armors and you don't want to take up space in your inventory maybe i'm not getting it um but what's this chef's bag stores lots of every ingredient uh table salt can be placed seasoning uh, food buffs are 5% more effective. Uh, adds 15 second duration to food. Uh, there's also black pepper. So I wonder then, is there like a, a cooking mechanic in the game? So like, these are seasonings for uh, for other ingredients. That's, that's probably what it is. So, we've found a new structure. Uh, this one looks very fancy. A little bit threatening in a way. Like, I'm a little worried that, uh, you know, this is some kind of boss summon. So let's break down the door, and we'll see what it is. Uh, okay, Aurora Spirit. It headed down. So I think we follow it. Oh, gosh. I've, like, hoiked myself in. Ah, okay. This is where it was leading me to. So I think it. it I think it's like a theory. It leads you down there and then kind of, like, uh, explodes. And I assume if you don't get too close to it. Oh, okay. So it's another one. So I wonder then if it's leading you to something grand. Oh, it is. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this. Okay, I think this one might be the final one. 
Because, uh, I mean, look at it. Look at it, it looks nightmarish. It looks like a, a black void with two portals on either side. So what's it gonna be? I am curious if maybe as we get closer, it will actually like properly reveal itself. So this seems to be a door. Uh, open it up. What is this? Place blocks on blue squares. Okay. Uh, I have snow block. Is that what I need to, to have? Okay, I'll place one here. Uh, this might not be the right block. Um, ah, okay, there we go. You have to turn off smart cursor. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling I'm not ready for this. All I've got is a tentacle spike. But look at it. It's the, it's the loading screen. Gosh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But I am not ready for this. Wow. It is... A beautiful. Now, I bet you this is where we chuck that suspicious looking thing. And I reckon when it's time, we're going to be facing off against this, this big squid back here. Gosh, that is so cool. It's so cool. Like, do you get it now? Do you get why I was buzzed? Like, when have you played a mod like this? What is that? Oh, it's so cool. Right, we'll we'll leave this because obviously we're not ready yet. We'll, we'll come back for that. So I assume for this boss that we need to be like post Eye of Cthulhu at least, right? So I think what I'm going to do now, I've started digging underground. I think I'm just going to try and do as many like vanilla things as possible. As in like get a basic set of armor, make sure I've got all my movement accessories. I've just managed to get a, a tsunami in a bottle because... One of the structures had a fishing crate in it, and the first fishing crate I opened had this. But yeah, we'll do some vanilla -y stuff. Obviously, if there's anything cool along the way, we'll check it out. But then we'll we'll try and uh, get all ready for that boss. Ah, okay. So you can make something called uh, a prep station. Right click to prepare meals. So yeah, the, there is a cooking mechanic. Uh, okay, right click. Place a main course in the top slot to start cooking. So we actually do have a main course because I killed a bunny and I got a bit of rabbit. So you put that in the top and then I'm guessing you can do like salt, pepper, maybe like a little appetizer on the side. I'll tell you what, I will just make that. So what did that make? Rabbit, rich food that provides these buffs plus 5% melee damage for 10 seconds. Yeah, you can see why you need to, to add to it. Because that's not, that's not very long at all. Like, 10 seconds, to be honest, I'm, pr I'm probably not going to bother. <laughs> but I guess if you can extend it to, say, like, a minute, two minutes, sounds better. Uh, what's this? Double cross. Seven range damage. Uh, extremely weak knockback. Uses arrows. Shoots your highest two ammo slots at once. Okay. I quite like the sound of that. So we could have uh, wooden arrows and jester arrows be fired. I'm also going to make a pickaxe because mining around at the moment is is awful. <laughs> and then, is there anything else that's new? Okay, not right now. Not right now. Let's try the weapon though. Oh, cool. Very cool. Uh, we should have... Yeah, we've got ice blocks. So what we'll do is we'll make icy arrows. We'll make a bunch of those. And we'll make flaming arrows. And then we can have them like uh, work in tandem. And then we're not burning through the jester arrows. And we're getting flaming and frostburn. So I'm not really uh, talking my way through this. Because what I'm doing right now is it's pretty much just like vanilla terraria. I'm just like scooting about different caves. Trying to find things. Uh, but this double cross weapon. It's actually no joke. It's so good. So I'm just trying to find like life crystals. And yeah, I guess just whatever else. And just uh, just try and bulk the character up a little bit before we uh, before we move on. Ah, okay. So it looks like we found uh, another structure. I'm kind of I don't want to go in the wrong way to these structures. I kind of want to make sure I'm doing it right. So I assume you maybe go in through a different way. Oh, firebug. So I guess this is an enemy that was meant to probably. Whoa. Okay, they seem tough. So I'm guessing that was an enemy that was meant to be inside of there. 
Interesting. I'm gonna. I might scoot around so we can find the uh, find the entrance. I, I didn't want to get too sidetracked, but this is new. So we did get a new material from that uh, firebug. It's called ancient ceramic, and it looks like it makes a lot of things. Like maybe this is the first uh, proper area that you're meant to find. I feel like it would be that way because I mean there's a lot here. So let's have a little look at some of the items. Uh, Starlight pendant. Uh, barrier boosts mana regen by 1% per point of current active barrier. Uh, pyroclastic flow. Uh, blasts a torrential stream of lava that sticks to tiles and enemies. <laughs> this seems cool. So this is, a, uh, I mean, this is after, I guess, Brain of Cthulhu or Skeletron. Uh, Rhythmic Resonator. Uh, this is after Skeletron as well. So this is a bow. It's an upgrade to the uh, Vitric bow. Vitric bow sounds really... <laughs> could use a rework. Oh, they've left the mod tools. It, like, the developers' comments in here. Okay, interesting. So that that sounds familiar to me. Uh, faucet and Lasset. Lattice? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm still laughing about this. Um, <laughs> Right-click to guard. Uh, this is an upgrade. Oh, I... No, I didn't have a spear. I've been to Trident. So there's a lot here. Magmite bomb. I'm, I'm going to just say this. I think... I reckon... 80, yeah, 85% pickaxe power. Yeah, I reckon this area, just in general, is, is a place that you're probably meant to go to after you've done Skeletron. So it's a little glitched out. I wonder if I've maybe entered from the, the wrong way. Uh, but it looks like uh, this is... Like a little mini biome is part of the mod. Uh, and then this area inside of here seems to be like... Uh, I mean, it seems like some some kind of different beast. Oh, my my feather falls right out. I was like, why am I why am I moving so weird? Let me see if I can make it happen. Yeah, look at that. So I wonder if this is some kind of a event inside of here. Now, I remember these crystals. If I remember right, it's been so long. The thing with these is you have to do that kind of like special ability to, to break them. This, this does look like that area we saw uh, all those months ago. Uh, so I can see there is a, an NPC here uh, called the Glass Weaver. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the scaling back to uh, to 100 just to interact with this, uh, this character. Because, uh, like I say, there's something with the text boxes. Uh, so let's see. Ah, you finally found me. Come to browse my wares. My commissions are full, uh, but for the right price... Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for that. So it turns out uh, that area that we were in, it's like directly below the desert. So I do wonder then if you were meant to explore the desert, reach the bottom, and then uh, discover it that way, which makes which makes a lot of sense. That's why, like, I feel like we really, really have to explore in this mod. Hey, look at that. Dune Rider boots. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, coming this way. Totally worth it. Right, so let's try this uh, one more time. Let's see how we get on. Ah, you finally found me. Come to browse my whiz. My commissions are full, but for the right price, I'm sure we can work something out. Or that look you're giving me. Are you perhaps a fan? Uh, what? No. Uh, what do I do now? Editor James here. There was a little bug with this part of the mod yesterday, but thankfully we figured out how to make it work. So later in the video, we'll be returning. So that thing that we saw was frozen Aurora bars. Oh yeah, yeah. So there was a there was a yo-yo and there was something else. Now I, I probably don't have enough for the for the other thing, but the other thing was like a, an accessory. So what's this uh what's this yo-yo like? Strike enemies to build Aurora power. Heals players near the yo-yo based on Aurora power and gives you regeneration when retrieved. Cool. So yeah, I assume the, the more you use it, the more power you build up. And then that power, when it comes back to you, gives you life regen. That's pretty cool. I mean, we're probably a little past it. Oh, wait. No, wait. Okay, let's sling it back to us. So we got a little burst of regen. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, gosh, that's quite cool, actually. It's quite a, an easy thing to make as well. Like if you had an anvil on you, you could have made this ages ago in the ice biome. Ooh, okay. Warding disinfectant wipes. Critical strikes have a 10% chance to reduce all debuff durations uh, by three seconds. 
does not affect poison sickness debuff. That would be so cool if it did. <laughs> Do you know what? That might be a little overpowered, some would say. Jagged Slither Ring. Whips have a chance to shoot out a smaller snake whip. Okay, right. I don't have any whips, but I would love that. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a really cool accessory to use. To be honest, I know me. I'm probably going to forget to use it because I haven't got a summoner's build going on right now. But, oh gosh. I mean, there's always, always, always uh, multiple playthroughs here, right? Like this this doesn't have to be our only video on it. Like, we can we can come back. So, I'm just down here because uh, I want to give uh, King Slime a go. I can't imagine it's going to drop anything different, but I was like, well, we may as well give it a go. King Slime is almost uh, defeated. Very easy fight, very chill. Um, please, 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 please give me a hook, though. I would appreciate it. Gosh, my, my aim... My aim is definitely, is definitely bad. Okay, so, gelatin, that is something new. No, uh, right, okay, yeah, there is something new. But for a second I was like, am I just, am I looking at this guy? Okay, treasure bag, hook, awesome, uh, ninja gear, awesome, uh, slimy saddle, great as well. Also, it's great to see that Team of Loader wants to give achievements now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so Gelatin is a main course. It gives 6% damage reduction and free defense. So I found some new weapons. Uh, the Blade Saw shreds through enemies. Uh, repeated hits shred enemies and overheat the saw, increasing damage. Right click to use as a tool. I think I remember this one from one of the, the little spoilers. Let's give it a go. I don't wanna I don't wanna chop down my big trees. Okay, no wait. Left click is fine. Yeah, I remember this. It, it was used for killing innocent squirrels. I, I, I like the gore when you use it. I'm a big fan of that. A strange traveler has arrived. Wanderer, I await you at the place you entered. Oh, I didn't read it. I'm guessing it said where you entered the world. Uh, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, right. Zoom out. Uh, the crow li Okay. The crow-like creature- oh my gosh, now I'm getting a phone call. The crow-like creature gets up off the ground with a triumphant look in its beady eyes, dusting itself off and then straightening its ruffled feathers. Okay. Uh, my modder forgot to give me a chat message. Uh, okay, great. Continue. Ah, oh, I, I think I am glitched. I don't think I can click on these, uh these text boxes, even though I probably should be able to. Uh, I think I meant to set UI scaling to 100. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, that's so good. So I'm guessing we're off back to that other NPC then. There you are. I've jumped through 17 different axons and a half the entire Capricorn Tropic to try and find you. Okay. Yes, yes. My name is Alakan, and I believe we can help each other. You see, I am a seeker of what exactly is not free information, but I'll give you a hint. Alakan leans towards you, with its void reduced to a whisper and a manic glint in its eye. Manor's not the only thing out there. It's an engine of change. It can blow things up, it can reverse entropy, but it's not all there is. I'm studying starlight, the inverse of mana, the energy of meaning, of memory, of connection. If you let me observe your efforts, I will teach you how to use it. This is starlight, the ability to glimpse the weave of fate and meaning, grasping onto but a thin thread. If you encounter something beyond your own understanding, use it to borrow the knowledge you need. I have a feeling you'll be generating a lot of useful data for me. I've got business in the aqua... Uh, okay. In the aquatorial ring. But before I go, one last word of advice. Something lurks beneath the nearby desert. Okay, right. So that's where we were meant to go. The threads of memory uh, converge in a great tangle. If you wish to understand Starlight, you must confront and decipher whatever's waiting for you there. I'll be watching. Wow. Uh, mouse 4. Nothing interesting here. 
Nothing interesting here. To be honest, I've picked a pretty awkward time to do this with it being a Blood Moon. Uh, and I didn't bother to, to make an arena or anything. But as you can see, uh, the Double Cross is really good. All right, okay. Uh, and we got the Shield of Cthulhu. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> whoa, what is that? What is that? Haunted War Banner. Okay. A goblin army is approaching from the east. Okay, this is good because if it leads us into a boss fight and we're not able to uh, to actually do it, uh, yeah, we should be all right then to, to get some more upgrades. Okay, so trick is uh, UI to... Okay, that was, that was too much. Ah, you've finally found me. Come to browse my wares. My commissions are full, but for the right price, I'm sure we can work something out. Or oh, that look you're giving me. Are you perhaps a fan? I, what, what, what do you mean? That you're just wandering in here. Nobody comes here to see the legendary weaver of glass without a reason, especially outside of my forge. It must have been fate. I am an artist and crystal is my medium, but to properly work it, I need some very powerful equipment. And well, how do I say this? I did maybe forget to maintain the tools in my chosen forge for a pit, only a few centuries. Don't give me that look. You might not be able to tell with your lack of experience and all, but I will give it only a few more years before the magma channels erode and the forge heart collapses. So, I've been diligently scouting out a nearby forge temple. Thing is, it's almost in even more disrepair. If you, handsome warrior, wise, kind explorer, are brave enough to venture in and fix up the forge, I'll let you keep whatever you find inside. Here. I'll show you where it is. Show me that temple. No, wait, you can't just barge in. You need a key. I need to know if I'm giving my faith in crystal to the right person. So when you think you're strong enough, challenge me properly and I will put you through my glass weaver gauntlet to really test your metal. Don't keep me waiting. You know where to find me. See you around. Ah, my fated champion, here to liberate my forge from that dastardly sentinel. Uh, forget I said that. I'll tell you about it if you win. Okay. So the sentinel. I do remember the sentinel. That's the boss that we faced in the, uh, in the preview. Okay, right. So, I think the gauntlet is try and run through as many of these little, like, enemies as it's going to set up for us. So this should actually give us a pretty good idea, and I'm really glad it's doing this, of like what skill level you need to be. As in, is this like post-Skeletron? Is it around now? We're taking a lot of damage, to be completely honest. Like I didn't come fully prepared. So I think if it came, yeah, I think if it came to the actual boss fight, I think I would be screwed. Okay, I'm just gonna head up here and keep dealing damage. Yeah, I was not prepared. I, I think we've got to come a little later. I reckon this is post-Skeletron at least. All right, so Goblin Army's done. Uh, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, as I was fighting them, I was thinking about like the fact that, you know, these enemies that we were just facing were probably just like, I don't know, like 50% harder than the Goblins. So yeah, I think we, we either need to bump up to like Brain of Cthulhu gear or go full Skeletron and start exploring the dungeon. I think that's probably what it wants. I reckon like the bosses and such are a little more late game than I was expecting. That's cool though. Um, so yeah. So I guess what we do now then is we... I guess we go do the Brain of Cthulhu. And we get the Brain of Cthulhu out the way. But then yeah. I, I, I think this might be the second boss. I don't think this is the first one. I think because the fact that the crow leads you here. I reckon you do this. Then you do the sentinel, then you do whatever this is, and then it probably like leads you in the direction of the final one. Right, so we're very close to uh, taking down the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, this actually took me uh, two attempts. I think what we need to do is we, we need to make a, we need to make a better weapon. <laughs> I reckon that's what it is. This weapon is very cool, uh, but just in regards to damage and whatnot, you know, it's probably not the best. Although, I, I feel bad. Do you ever get like this where you get like a modded weapon and you're like, you know what? You've carried me a little bit. And I'm, I'm and I'm proud to have you. And then you just feel bad about like throwing it away. <laughs> I feel a little bit like that. Okay, so interesting development here. Uh, we now have this. So here's the thing, right? I'll level with you. Uh, I went AFK for a little bit. 
Uh, I had a burger. <laughs> I just left Terraria running. I'm too scared to log out. I really am doing this in one go. Uh, and I assume uh, something has spawned. So we did the Brain of Cthulhu, and I didn't see anything. So, yeah. We, well, we now have this. Very exciting. Um, so I'm curious then. Maybe uh, we get something new from this that will actually let us craft some uh, some new weapons. Because my plan right now is I was just going to go do... Uh, I was going to do Skeletron. I was going to do Skeletron, get dungeon upgrades, like, do the uh, the Goblin Tinkerer and whatnot. I'll tell you what, does this explode? Because <laughs> that would make this a lot easier. Yeah, you get bombarded with enemies here. Yeah, if Moonstone could, could equal something good, oh, gosh, it would be good. Because, yeah, if not, we're just going to do upgrades before we get to uh, the Sentinel or Sentinel, whatever. Like I say, I'm doing this in one session, right? Have I, have I hit my peak right now? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so fingers crossed then. This makes something good. So it makes moonstone bars. <laughs> now listen here. When, when the first thing you see is a drill containment unit, you get a little spooked. All right, let's, let's, let's make a whole bunch of these. So we can actually make 106. So you can make uh, moonstone armor. The starlight shuriken. Now, this is what I remember from the beta. Okay, so that's a pretty cool thing. So it's made out of shuriken, fallen stars. So we have all of that. Gosh, I think this might be what we needed. Uh, this Diana's pendant, that's cool. Ah, uh, oh, gosh, all right. An upgrade to the, uh, to the star fury. We have a lot to do now. This is actually good. Okay, so moon fury. Call down a shard of moonstone, afflicting enemies with dream fire. Afflicted enemies take extra damage on hit from moon fury okay cool uh so let's make the leggings let's make the helmet let's make the uh chest piece so all of these give a barrier protection now there's a bunch of different accessories i've seen that that kind of work with barrier but like i said earlier barrier is kind of glitched in this version so it might not be ideal we'll see i love this update this uh sound effects needed Okay, I'll, I'll make it. Wait, what's this as well? Moonstone Tincture. Causes barrier to reflect the light of the moon. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that works with barrier. Let's swap it over. What was the other weapon that we could make? It was uh, this one. Okay. Let's give it a go. I'm, I'm curious. Whoa. Oh, now that's fancy. Now that is fancy. Look at it go. It's, it's quite cool. 47, striking enemies, charges the staff with lunar energy, condenses collected energy into a lunar orb when the final slam hits the ground. Okay, cool. Um, all right, sick. So I think what happens is, is we use our weapon. Once we've gained a couple of kills, we should then be able to uh, bring in our uh, set bonus. Okay, so in terms of this weapon, it's not ideal in the sense of like, it, it's, it's pretty like, I don't know. You're going to get pretty close to get it to work. This is cool, though. I would say, in terms of damage, I feel like we're doing more damage. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait until... Because we have, we have, like, a sword to summon or something like that. Let us, let's... Let's give it a go. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. So, that's the set bonus. The set bonus is this crazy spear. Oh, gosh, you know what? Starlight River. Starlight River, I mean, I was enjoying my time already. I was having a... I've been pretty... It's been a pretty good couple of hours. But you know what? You've just reminded me why this is so cool. I love the way those enemies join together as well. So yeah, I am dead now. I think if we came back with buffs and... Uh, I think, yeah, I think if we came back with buffs, I think I could probably do a bit better. All right, cool. Uh, we found the goblin. Okay, this is good. Uh, the colors, right? So we have so many, like, random little accessories that the, the mod has introduced... But because I'm just kind of relying on, like, uh, my movement accessories and whatnot, if we start combining stuff, I think it's going to be really good for us. I feel like we're going to be able to um, to free up some slots and then start using some more um, some more modded ones. So I just remembered uh, I forgot to make this. Uh, this is, like, really cool, though. So we don't have... I guess we have a, a good bit of mana. This is a mage weapon. Uh, here it is. Look at it, it's ace. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, tosses a volley of magical shuriken. Landing every shuriken decreases the amount thrown by one. Throw a powerful glaive 
uh, when you would have only thrown one shuriken. Shuriken. Gosh. <laughs> but it's so cool. I tell you what, if well, to be fair, this is a this is a melee build we've got going on right now. We could always swap to, to mana if we need to. But I am enjoying these special effects, so I'll leave it for now. Uh, but that's that's a cool. It just looks good as well. Now it turns out you can actually uh, zoom in during this, which is good, and the UI doesn't like completely break. Okay, I'm gonna head over them, start taking these out. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to save my my spear for like the the later stuff. Okay, they're gone. Right, I'm gonna use spear for this one because this seems this is where we died last time. Oh my gosh, that one's got so much health in comparison. Okay, he's gone. Oh, and it continues. They really are relentless with this. They're like, yeah, you, you need to prove to us you're ready. <laughs> it's definitely not like, oh, you know, just a just a couple. Like, he gets the mechanics. No, no, no. It's like, it's, it's an actual trial by combat. It's great. It's really cool, though. I like it because I struggle in a lot of mods to figure out, like, where the, where the balancing is. Like, you know, it, are you actually ready for this boss or are you not? Whereas this is like a clear test. It's like, yes, they are ready. <laughs> they understand. Okay, let me try to get my swing. Bam, there we go. Right, I'm going to use the spear for the rest of this. I want to try and uh, just maintain what health I have. Take these out. Okay, we're doing all right for health. We're doing okay. Okay. Oh, now it's Glass Weaver himself. Okay. Uh, I should probably, like, really pay attention to this. Okay, right. Let's do... There. Oh my gosh, what was that little orb thing you just said? Okay. I feel like, um, yeah, the spear's gonna come in real handy here. Let's keep using the spear, and let's not worry about much else. This is, this is a little bit like, a, it's a little bit Hollow Knight, isn't it? I haven't played much Hollow Knight, just to be, just to be clear. I know, I need to change it. I'm a degenerate. <laughs> I get it. I know I'm in the wrong here. All right. Come on, slam him down. There we go. All right. Uh, okay. Move that crystal thing away. Gosh. Right. So, so that's done. Let's zoom out so we can read the text box. <laughs> that was intense. Congratulations. You destroyed many decade of my finest work. Uh, I really should have thought this through more. I was going to have uh, those help you clear out the forge, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Let me... Oh my gosh. Please. Enemies. Come on. The, the fight's over. All right. It's done. It's over. But I'm sure you'll figure it out. Let me fill you in on what to expect. It pulls out what looks to be a map, but with completely illegible scribbles in place of anything useful. You're not sure how one capable of creating such uh, intricate crystal work is so inept at moving a pen on paper, but you've seen more bizarre things. My great map of the Grand Forge Temple, just another legendary artwork that I'm allowing you to briefly look at, free of charge. But you can see the two main rooms of the forge here and here. Both are most likely broken in some way. And if you want to access to the vault at the bottom, you'll have to get to the power system and hammer system in working order. If you enter the vault, there's a pretty high likelihood of the sentinel taking notice. It will not be happy. But most of the adventurers have no such uh, compunctions about theft from holy forge temples and the murder of religious guardians. So you'll probably be able to take it out just fine. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I not tell you about the sentinel before? Ah, it's just a slightly oversized ceramic snake. That's all. It is not capable of melting the entire temple if you do not escape fast enough. Nope. Just talk to me when you defeat the slightly oversized snake so that I can finally move in. I need a key. Uh, don't you have better things to be doing, like fixing my forge? Uh, it doesn't like look like you've cleared out the forge. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right. Uh, no, no, wait. No, I have the key. Gosh. Starlight, please. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Here we go. All right. Okay. So in the, in the beta version that we played, this was kind of like your starting area. You kind of like came through. You did like a couple of... Uh, little challenges and, and whatnot so i'm curious to see how this works okay there's a crystal here uh this crystal is firing oh it's firing out enemies okay and i don't think we have the ability to break that crystal yet so i wonder then if we're meant to either kill like a certain number of them or we'll eventually get the ability to to break that crystal yeah okay okay there's machinery here <laughs> i love this little guy he's so good Okay, he's powering the machinery. That's fine. Also, this could easily be 
some form of a puzzle. Uh, so you can see here that the... Uh, I can't remember what this is called. I'm really sorry, because this is like the, the like icon of the mod. Uh, you can see here that it isn't spinning this. Oh, okay. So do I just right-click on them? Is it that easy? Let me try right-click there uh, on that one. Okay, now that's spinning. So these don't seem to be spinning. So what's wrong with that one? Oh, oh, so it's different sizes. Oh, that's interesting. There you go. So that's the correct size. This one I assume needs to be... This one needs to be larger. Ah, cool. This one needs to be smaller. Oh, there you go. Look at that. It's all spinning. Ah, so as we made all that spin, uh, this door opened. Good, good job, you. You're doing a real good job in here. Thanks for that. As if this is an actual puzzle. I was joking <laughs> when I came in here. I was like fumbling a little bit. Like, I don't know what's going on. Ah, maybe it's a puzzle. Okay, what's this? It's very beautiful. I just have to say that real quick. Like, gosh, what are we even looking at here? Because this isn't Terraria anymore. This is like its, its own different thing. It's so cool looking. Okay, so... There's a pocket mirror. So I wonder, do we need to, to turn the pocket mirror? Oh, okay. It's giving me a symbol, but I don't know what for. Okay. Uh. Oh, you pivot it. Ah, clever. Clever. Okay. So I won't lie. The process is a little finicky, but I think what I'm meant to do is keep bouncing the light this way. And then I think I'm meant to go that way. And then up to there. Then maybe to there, to there to there to there to there and then hit that <laughs> i'm gonna give it a go uh it's it's pretty buggy it's kind of glitchy like a couple of times you think you've connected the beams uh but you haven't so like let's see if it does it right this one i think it will but yeah i think our, our, our end goal because it's so finicky is to hit that one there and i also don't know if this thing's gonna block it no it isn't we've done it oh my gosh Okay, we've, we've, I think we've enabled the forge. I think that's the start of it. Okay, yeah, so this area is open now, so we can come down here. Okay, right, <laughs> I'm feeling very proud. Forbidden winds. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so cool. Yeah, this is it. This is what I remember from the, from the beta. Forbidden winds. Press W, A, S, and B plus mouse five. Look at that. So it lets you charge into stuff and uh, and break it. So I imagine now... Oh, no, wait. Oh, you need to, to dash into this guy. Okay, cool. So I do wonder then, can we now break uh, this little enemy spawner over here? No. <laughs> All right, okay, that's fine. So that's cool. Just a little, a little special ability. Let us out of here, please. Okay, we can dash upwards. So you can dash, like, whichever way you want, basically. Um... Ooh, is this like a, a low gravity mode? Is that what that is? If I remember right, like when you first try it, it can it can be a little finicky, but it but it works, you know. Okay, uh, gosh, <laughs> why is that so strong? Okay, maybe what we're meant to do is no wait, am I am I able to to dash through this? No, am I able to dash upwards? Ah, okay. So then let's uh, let's break that. Okay, and break that. Right, so now that we have that Forbidden Winds ability, we can now fight the Sentinel, which I remember from the beta. Very cool fight, but also very challenging, and I'm not exactly sure how we're going to pull this off. So if I remember right, it was uh, like this area up here that you did it in the beta, or like something similar to this. But we, our weapon is not really that good. So I think we're going to have to really rely on our armor set bonus and, and yeah, to see how we get on. Okay, here it is. Oh gosh, it just makes me so excited. Starlight River, you, you're too fancy. Come on now, what is this? Okay, right. So the arena is here. Ah, so, so where do I get the, where do I get the crystal from? So you need to make a thing called a glass idol, which is made of the ceramics and the silver. So we have both of those. Okay, let's go do that. 
It's also it's also funny, right? Because you, you get these forge keys, and they're only meant to open one door, but they just keep giving you them. So so that's cool. Okay, right. So crafting, let me grab these and glass idol. Very fancy, very fancy. Okay, cool. I wonder then. I do wonder. I wonder how do you how you get the mage build? You know, because this seems to be the melee build. I do wonder where the mage build is, because I reckon mage for this fight would be a lot easier than melee. I'm very excited to do it though. It, I'm very excited. All right then. I guess we give this a go. Uh, do I think I'll beat this first try? No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. We'll give it a go though. We'll see. If I remember right, the trick was. It had, like, so, so you did damage to the actual boss itself. And then every now and again, you'd have, like, a little phase where you needed to, uh, to kind of, like, charge into the crystals. If I remember right. Or it might even be a fight about dodging, to be completely honest. I can't fully remember. It's been so long. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you didn't see the original video back in the day, uh, essentially... Oh, no, wait. I am meant to be doing damage. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, back in the day, this was the original beta fight, and this is all you had uh, had access to. It seems like I am struggling to deal damage, though. Let me get the, the spear out. So I think, yeah, at certain points in the fight, what we do is we have to, uh, to charge into uh, a crystal to maybe knock, like, a, a part of its shield off, something like that. So let's keep uh, dodging and weaving out the way. I'm going that way. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it technically does do damage though, so it's fine. Okay, right. Is it? There you go. That's it. He needed. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to do it the once, or do I do it more times? Time? No. I, okay. I think I do it the once. But I think it's like you have to do it throughout the fight uh, four times, something like that. Okay. Keep dealing damage. I can't remember. Does the fight actually deal contact damage or no? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like I remember somebody pointing that out to me a while ago. Like, hey, if you're doing the fight, you can hit the head. <laughs> okay. We're doing good, though. I mean, our health is amazing. I probably should have brought some uh, some proper buffs for me. Right. I'm going to use my spear again in a second. I'm going to head this way. Okay. Keep dealing damage. I should probably maybe use a little bit of this. But in terms of, like, actually dealing damage, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. Oh, gosh. No, we're, we're, we're dead. It does make me wonder, though. Like, was this meant to be the first boss? Or was the first boss, uh, ultimately, the one that we could have just walked straight into? Which was the one... I don't know the name of it. But the one in the ice biome. So I am, I am interested. I, I don't know if I should maybe go give that a go. I don't know if it's going to be any different. Oh, I feel like... I feel like that could have been the first... Oh, wow. Golden Crate. Not bad. I feel like that could have been the first boss. Like, I'm actually kind of convinced. I might I might go do it. I might go see. I know we're kind of, like, in the middle of doing something else, but you get a free summon for it. And you also... It doesn't... It's not very hard to find, and there's no gauntlet beforehand. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. I feel, uh, to be fair, we'll very quickly learn, or like, w what it's meant to be. It just looks so pretty. It looks so good. Now, this is a very small arena. Uh, we can get around it. You can also swim, I guess. Okay, right. Let's... Oh, 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 these ones drop. Do they all drop? That's a really good point. They drop. But this one's permanent. Does this one drop? No, okay. Interesting. Right. Let's... Let's see what happens. I've... I've... Oh, okay. No, I've done that right. Okay, Auroracle the... Yeah, I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Right, so we'll start off by uh, using Ranger just to see what that's like. I'm curious, what, what am I meant to be hitting? Okay, we've got seven seconds left on a buff. On a health pack, sorry. So I don't think we're going to get healed. Oh, gosh, I killed myself with the poison. Right, so let's do round two. Now, I imagine I'm probably going to, like, trim up the first fight a little bit, considering uh, I spent a lot of it just shooting at the wrong thing. So we'll treat this as, like, the real fight. It's going to be very awkward if I just die straight away. I actually do worse on this one. Oh, no. Okay, right. So what we learn is, is... For one, it looks amazing. It's so good. What a great design. 
But we, we don't shoot here, James. All right, we shoot at the tentacles. We shoot directly at the arm. We shoot at this. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> I would like to I would like to try this uh, with a bunch of different classes. So I, I could definitely see myself coming back and, uh, and replaying this alpha a couple of times and just kind of seeing what else is there. Okay, for this one, we want to make sure we're hitting these. But then there's also these little gems that fly up. Okay. So yeah, it, it turns out if you actually like try and deal damage where it's meant to be dealt, it goes a lot quicker, it seems. Okay, so one of these... Okay, so this one is going to be orange. Okay, I, I butchered that a little bit. I butchered that. It's fine. I'm trying to uh, do a little bit of melee damage just so I can get this uh, thing buffed up. But I imagine this is probably like the only time we're going to be able to, to use the spear because uh, we're not dealing melee damage. I guess I could build it up now because I'm already here. Okay, avoid the white crystals. I got a teeny bit of melee damage in then, not much. Okay, I've, I've just got to remember to avoid as much as I can. Okay, it's this one over here. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a spear in. Okay, I can. Awesome. Right, that was a bad time to get a spear. So I think now... No, no, no. Okay, not ready yet. I was going to say, I know it transitions to, like, we've got to deal damage to the head. But one thing we've got to remember is to, to just keep dodging as much as possible. Because at the end of the day, uh, if I die, the fight's over. So, you know, it's just, just something to keep in mind. Right, there you go. Deal damage with that one. Maybe uh, charge up the spear a little bit with that. I took way too many hits then to, to pull that off. Okay, I'm just going to keep dealing damage with this. I want to charge up the spear as much as possible. I'm going to charge it up for when it transitions to uh, you have to shoot the actual head itself to, to deal the damage. So I think then we'll be able to get a good amount in. Okay, which one's the orange one? It's this one here. Okay, I took a bunch of damage doing that. That's fine. Keep dealing damage where you can. It's a very lengthy fight, and I don't know, for real, I don't know which one I would do first in terms of the two. I think so far, though, I think maybe because it's fresh, this one's definitely my favorite that we've done. Okay, let's get the spear out. So we're dealing a lot of damage now. So this is the attack I'm most interested in. Like, how do you... Do you dash through it? No? <laughs> I don't fully get that one. That one's the one I struggle with the most. Okay, let's keep moving out the way of these. I hope, like... <laughs> I played some pretty tough Terraria mods over the time. Like, over my years. And I'm hoping that, like, the muscle memory will just guide me through just enough to get me through this fight. I don't know if it will, though. Okay, so I think I'd probably go back to... Okay, now I'm still dealing damage to this part. I was going to say, I assumed I'd probably go back to dealing damage to the tentacles themselves. I'm proud of myself, though. We haven't, uh, we haven't dip-dived and dodged into the water, this one. Okay, move out the way. So there is water on the sides we need to be careful of. Okay, we've avoided that. Oh, gosh, we're doing it. Oh, we're actually doing it. Okay. We're getting close. Oh, less than 100 health. Oh, there we go. So, so cool. So cool. This right here. This is why this could be one of the biggest Terraria mods we've ever seen. That is special. That is something we've never had before. Like, what an experience in Terraria. Wow. My gosh, we are, as a community, we are so lucky. We are. We're so lucky. Like, to have this mod and, and like, a Calamity and a Thorium and a Spirit and all that good stuff. Gosh. Okay, right. So, let's have a little look inside this treasure bag then. Bam. Ah, okay, right. So, we got the Octogun uh, 16 range damage. Uh, converts musket balls into oracle ink. Very cool. Auroracle ink. Uh, critical hits uh, and kills cause tenter pistols to sprout out from you that fire at your cursor. Uh, we also got the tenter lance. Launches a shimmering tentacle lance. Uh, charged to fire up to four more lances at once. So let's give it a go. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I feel like, uh, I mean, I haven't used them in combat yet, but I feel like in terms of damage and whatnot, I do wonder if maybe uh, you were meant to do that fight before we even took on the Sentinel. I feel like in terms of just like the fight in general, the, the Sentinel's the hard one. 
And I've got a feeling now that the Sentinel might be the final one in this mod. I feel like that's what it's going to be. I reckon you've got these two two bosses, and then you have the, the mini boss that we did. But I am going to ask on Discord after I've done the Sentinel. Oh my gosh, look at this. So these are the guns that fire out of you if you kill an enemy with the, with the Octo gun. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Oh, that's ace. I feel like a Dr. Octopus. Right, so let's give this another go. Uh, this time I, I feel a little bit more prepared. I feel like now I've had the warm up with the uh, aquatic boss, I'm feeling good. But yeah, ultimately this is gonna come down to uh, how well can I dodge. Uh, and I feel like I've got I've got to be clever about charging up my my spear as well. Like I've got to make sure that I'm actually doing that so that I can get a, a good amount of uh, damage in whenever possible. Because clearly it's my it's my spear that deals all the damage. Okay, that was a bad time to do that uh, little spear attack. To be fair. Okay, all right. So we want to be over here and we want to crack this one. Come on, wait. Crack it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I did it. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's keep it going. We're dealing damage where we can. We're not dealing insane damage, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, that's just the downside of playing melee, to be honest. Okay, keep dealing damage where possible. Next time we get the a big chance to deal a lot of damage, we'll give it a go, All right? Let's go that one. There we go, All right? We're gonna do the spear attack. Okay, deal as much damage as we can. Doing well. Health is probably not doing amazing, but I tell you what, we're dealing good damage to this fight. Uh, so, you know, we're doing better than before. Okay, right. Uh, oh gosh, I need to crack that one. Crack, there you go. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. We're dealing damage, we're dealing damage. Oh gosh, we're, we're taking damage. We're having to, to really brute force this, to be honest. Okay, we didn't get much on a spear then. Not much at all. Uh, we are still alive, so that's good. I feel like I've got to... I've definitely got to pull back, though. Because I feel like I'm not... Uh, <laughs> I'm not giving myself a lot of chance to heal. Okay, so let's crack that crystal. Awesome. Okay, right. So I, I think we're on to, to phase two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so scared. Thank you for giving me a chance to heal, though. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot more going on this time. Right, let's see if we can get some spear damage in them. Uh, since that is our main hitter. Okay, we're doing good. Well, we're taking heavy hits. But we're also dishing out the damage really well. Okay, those crystals have popped. I did wonder if we needed to actually uh, to break those. Okay, uh, I think we're going to die on this one, to be honest. Because I'm not uh, maneuvering right. I'm taking way too much damage. Okay, all right, we just broke one crystal, so that's good. Oh my gosh, everything deals so much damage. Okay, let's see if it, uh, let's see if we got a spear attack. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> we did so well, though. So I'm into uh, phase two again. Uh, let's see how we do. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling excited. Uh, okay, right, I'm gonna get some, some spear damage in, since I haven't done that in a little while. Uh, I'm just gonna keep looping around it. Because that's what I think happens in this phase. You have to you have to move as much as you can. Okay, I want to crack that crystal. Awesome. Uh, I haven't got a lot of opportunities to deal melee damage, which isn't ideal. Because we've got to we've got to get close to to charge up the spear. Okay, let's crack that crystal. Let's go crack that crystal. Uh, we didn't have time to crack that one. That's all right. Okay, let's do uh, some spear damage now then. Let's see how much we can get away with uh, before the boss freezes up. And I think that's it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, gosh, it's such a good fight. It's such a good fight. Oh, my gosh. We did it. Ceros? Ceros? Get wrecked, mate. <laughs> oh, so cool. So, so cool. We did it. We actually did it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Right. Let's 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 bask in our glory. What a mod! What a mod! I'm still wild away. It blended really well with the vanilla gameplay. I've got to say, like it felt, you know, today playing this, I felt as excited as I do on update day. 
I had a blast. Going in blind, just, just like finding things, just encountering issues along the way, speaking to the community because I had these issues. All of it, very wholesome. Very, very wholesome. You know what? It was such so, so cool. Okay, so what is in... Uh, tell you what, I, I need to... My inventory's a little messed up. Don't even worry about it. What's in here then? So we get the uh, Agile Needler. Stick spikes to enemies to build up heat. Overheated enemies explode, dealing massive damage. There's also the Coalescence. Uh, yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, charge for a volley of brilliant magic. Fully charged shots leech mana when they collide. Uh, demonic faucet and lattice. This is a, a melee weapon. It's very cool. Uh, right click to guard. Okay. Interesting. I wouldn't exactly say this was my favorite one, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then I think they give you this so that you can craft um, other weapons and such. Yeah, so if, if you wanted to make some of the other weapons, it probably drops, like this one. I guess this is end game. The Pyroclastic Flow. Uh, you have access to it. It's now day two. I spent about seven hours yesterday playing Starlight River. And you know what? It was a blast. It was so good. Now, I actually forgot to uh, to go speak to the, uh, to the Glass Weaver right at the very end. Because, of course, we completed their mission. Uh, but it turns out that part of the game is a little bugged. I, I just went and tried it. Uh, it doesn't acknowledge the fact that you uh, cleared out the forge or beat the boss. It kind of just, um, it resets. Now, Starlight River had an amazing day one on Steam Workshop. In fact, it actually had 20,000 downloads. So, well done, Starlight River team. Uh, very successful launch. Um, and it turns out they've put out a hot fix in the middle of the night that seems to fix a bunch of the issues. Like my character, uh, it's not corrupt. You can see that the barrier thing is now working. This is how it was intended to look the whole time. So one of the things I realized I didn't even show, uh, I did not go back and look at those uh, gray chests that we found uh, that we couldn't break. The ones where I was like, maybe it's a mallet. Um, I think it is this. So we're gonna go check that out. So this was uh, one of them, so let's try it. Ah, yeah, okay, so you did need this to, to break them. So we found the Twice Lucky Slivering. Uh, whips have a chance to shoot out a smaller snake whip. Uh, so this is like a, an upgraded version of the uh, Slivering that we found in a, in a normal chest. That's pretty cool. And if I remember right, I think there is one on this track somewhere. So yeah, if I haven't already spoken about it, essentially in this uh, alpha version of the mod, uh, there is only uh, two bosses and the mini boss, which is uh, Glass Weaver. Yeah, okay, here it is. Let's break it. What did we get? Okay, twice precise disinfectant wipes. Ah, uh, oh, so it really is just like upgraded versions of accessories that uh, we had access to earlier in the mod. But yeah, that's that's all it is in the, the mod so far. Um, but still though, really cool. That wraps it up for this very long video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations, Starlight River, on a successful launch. It was very fun. Genuinely very fun. So thank you, and, uh, and thanks for watching.